Hey guys, how are you? Car vlog. So, question put to me by somebody on the interwebs. Hi, Steph. I'm a 20-year-old college student who wants to become a web developer. In your videos, you talk a lot about freelancing. How a good way to start to get experience is to go to your local coffee shops, etc. Get gigs, local companies. I have made projects, websites before, and my question is the hosting part. Do I host their websites? No, you don't want to host people's websites unless you want to get into the hosting business. I've done both. And the thing about getting into the hosting business, you're going to have to support them. My email is not working. Uh, why is the site offline? Now, you could partner with hosting companies where you could maybe get a VPS or uh, or you could just... You could, there's different ways of approaching this where you can partner with hosting companies and slowly build up a, uh, a roster of uh, clients and it could be a way to passive income but you have to understand mm, mm, you might have to deal with the tech support so he says uh, do I host their website how do I convince them to host their website from the beginning how does that work or I just or or do I just make the website for them and show them the product well when you're coming to see a particular client a new client uh, if they don't have a website up already, you're going to have to help them th with that. Get the hosting set up for them, get their domain up and running, uh, the SSL certificate, etc., and so on. That's part of the job. On the other hand, if you go see a client who already has a website up, then you don't need to set up their hosting because they already got the site up. You just got to update it. So that way, and that, in that case, you get their credentials, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and you update the site. Unless they want you to just deliver the code and they'll take care of that themselves. Most of the time, they're going to want you to take care of everything. So we keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, getting into the hosting business, I've done it. I sold off my book 20 years ago, something like that. I still get residuals. <laughs> I sold it off and I still get residuals uh, from my hosting accounts. It used to be a lot more than it is now because I, I didn't build up new clients. You could partner with a hosting company and they'll pay you anywhere 50 to 100 $150 one-time payment to bring them a new client. So that's another way to get a little extra juice on the side. So, yeah, I would say, generally speaking, unless you, your goal is to set up a hosting business, I would not be looking to uh, provide hosting for the client. I, you know, if they need to get hosting set up, you can set them up with a hosting account. You, make, you become partners with a hosting company. So you can get your you can get your um, your uh, affiliate fee, if you will, but uh, you don't want to get involved because of uh, because of all the headaches of uh, potential tech support headaches. That's all. I hope this is useful. Good question, by the way. Good question. Again, if the, on the other hand, if you think you're going to do this for a while, if you got like you know 50, 100 clients paying you, you know. Uh, you know, six bucks a month, seven bucks a month, and it's pretty passive. And, you know, it's decent little extra cash on the side for doing nothing, right? 99% of the time, when you're hosting, uh, there's no problem. Like, it's, it's no work. But you get those moments where, like, you know, at Friday night at 8 o'clock, or the Friday night afternoon at 4 o'clock, rather, they're calling you up, hey, blah, 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 my email's not working, or blah, 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 this, why can't we reach the site, you know? That happens. But again, you could partner with companies, VPS, fully managed VPS. There are ways around that. Something to consider.